Joy was in the science. He loved astronomy. Billy was just silly. He was just mischievous. He liked to taunt you and tease you. Billy, Joey, and the Hogue kids had many hobbies while growing up in Hannibal. We went up to the rock quarry up on Riverside and we'd bring black snakes home and, you know, and our playground was Lover's Leap. In 1967, work was underway on what we now know as Route 79. The site was a perfect playground for young explorers Joey and Billy. One night, the boys came home after several hours of exploring a cave. The boy's sister, Dee Dee, says her parents scolded the boys. The next day, Dee Dee's parents punished the boys by not allowing them to leave the yard. If only they had listened. May 10th, 1967. The last time anybody saw Joey and Billy Hogue. When mom and dad got home, they asked, where's, where's Joey and Billy? The Hogue family spread out, looking for their brothers. They must have ran off to do more exploring, they thought. Dee Dee says neighbors reported seeing the boys go into Murphy's Cave, near where Stoll Elementary School sits today. And they mapped that whole thing out complete. They went through it so thoroughly. They searched so many caverns. At the time, a third boy, Craig Dowell, had also gone missing. But to this day, it is unclear whether Dowell joined the boys or not. Week after week, the search continued. Local restaurants donated food and housing to many volunteer cavers who came from around the country to help find the boys. It was a search that began to take its toll on Dee Dee's family. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I felt like they would be cold and they'd be hungry. And I, you know, I just couldn't let myself do anything. I was so distressed out. Dee Dee says all she wants now is closure. She says that closure comes when the boys are found. But after 48 years, will there ever be another search? That case remains open. Lieutenant John Zerbonia with the Hannibal Police Department says the department will follow up on any credible leaves it receives. But as for another search, that won't happen. He also has advice for any young explorers who go caving. Stay out of them. I mean, don't, don't go exploring in any caves that you're unfamiliar with. And even if you are familiar with them, don't go in them. There's always a chance that you could either get hurt or lost or, or worse. But I just hope that people be very, very aware of where their kids are at. And if they're going into any kind of caverns or anything, to make sure that they're going with someone that's well-trained. A memorial has since been placed on top of Lover's Leap to honor the missing boys. As for the closure Dee Dee so desperately wants, she believes that will come one day. With today's technology, she says it's just a matter of time before the remains of Craig Dowell and her brothers, Joey and Billy, are found.